Ibu kan ibu. Why you like that? Why? Why you like that? Why? Hi! There's so many. There's yes, so many. Yeah, there's- <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I go to different places for different types of fast food. Like I would go to like Jollibee for their spaghetti. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll go McDonald's for McNuggets. Not often, honestly. Yeah. Like same. once every two months, maybe. Whoa. That, that, that's Why is that often? often? That's oh actually God. very rare. Oh. It depends, lah. For me, like I personally only really have McDonald's or like fast food only when got new things. I think McDonald's especially because they always right. have new stuff, mm. and then when Whenever they have new stuff, I feel compelled to try. <laughs> I'm just someone who eats McDonald's like every other week. Are you serious? Oh. Like, okay, be it McDonald's, KFC, like I'm a fast food person. Mm. I think it's just my form of comfort food. Right. Especially like when you come back from flights sometimes. You're just so tired. And then you see Shake Hello. Shack staring at you. Oh. And then you just there like, <laughs> But I like Moss Burger though. Because oh. of the rice burgers. Ah. I'm still very Asian lah, so I like my rice. Big spicy. McGriddles! McGriddles! Oh. Team McGriddles! I'm judging you guys! Why? Oh. That's the only thing I've ever eaten eh. For McDonald's? Uh, honestly, Nani. the last time I ate a lunch menu for McDonald's was two years ago. <gasps> so I do not remember what they sell. <laughs> it's confirmed! 72 hours eat fast food. Yeah, I think I so mean. so. Huh. Like only McDonald's? Like nothing else? But I'm very snackish. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, then too bad. show you guys what I ordered. My black coffee. I ordered the burger. Fries. Two fries. Fries are good. One thing I really love about the double cheese burger is the cheese. Mm. It has some pickles as well. So it has a nice sour kick to it. Yeah, this is generally a meal that wouldn't go wrong. Blueberry cream cheese pie. Mmm, it's very unique, I would say. This one is drier, slightly less texture compared to an apple pie. Uh, so my standard go-to order would be of course, McNuggets, six piece, medium fries, I'm drinking Sprite. And of course, uh, this is giving me like uh, wartime <laughs> flashbacks of the challenge where we had to eat everything with curry sauce, but yes, curry sauce is still my nuggets sauce of choice. So what I usually do is open tub of curry sauce and some garlic chili sauce. It's a dip and a bite. And I got today the McFlurry. This is like the latest biscuit McFlurry, the new one. I've tried it before. I was disappointed by the flavour then. Actually not bad. I never actually liked McGriddles when it first came out. But I don't know why, but suddenly one day, it snapped. So in every bite, right, you can taste the sweet pancakes as well as like the savouriness and the saltiness of the sausage and the cheese. Oh, talking about it makes me like super excited to eat it. For my first lunch, I'm gonna have something simple with a twist. So I have a McChicken here with fries. Okay, so they call it a chippy butty. So I'm gonna add the fries into the burger and we'll see how that tastes. Hmm, <laughs> it's not bad actually. This just tastes like a mouthful of carbs because you have like the potato and the chicken and the bread. But I actually think the chili adds a lot of good flavor to it. McDonald's Low fat milk Corn cup Filet old fish Try with the curry sauce Okay But honestly curry sauce is all I taste like But the curry sauce is nice mm. I have my Big Mac that is deconstructed here And I'm just gonna add some chilli Mmm Hey, firstly, a lot of people on my Instagram told me to add cheese to my burgers and I was very confused mm. because I always felt like Mac's cheese didn't have much of a taste but it actually comes out really nicely in the Big Mac 
and the beef patty is salty in taste of beef. And I think the Big Mac sauce really sells the burger. It's a little bit tangy, which complements the saltiness of the patty. Overall, a good burger. I love this. So I'm finally back home. It's about 12.15. Got McCrispy, we've got some fries, Coke Zero, and a pie. Honestly, I've had it a couple times now, and I still love it. To me, right, how they manage to get it super crispy on the outside, but super, super juicy on the inside is the mystery. It's not super spicy, but I like that there's a kick to it. I've not tried McGriddles before, so I ordered McGriddles with egg. Like coffee, hash brown. Um, a bit noir noir already, but you know, there's this nice salty taste to it. Oh, but on first glance, the cheese though. Oh, I look bombs. Okay. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, as what I predicted, the buns is not entirely savory and it's slightly on the sweet side as well. But it's a nice touch, eh? I'm a sucker for melted cheese. I will order this again. Good stuff, good stuff. This is only my second time trying the McGriddle. The first time was when it first came out, but I wasn't a fan of it, so I've never tried it again. Here goes nothing. Mm. I don't love it. The bread just tastes like hotcakes, so I'd kind of rather eat hotcakes on its own. Overall, not bad, but probably wouldn't order again. Okay, good morning, guys. So, like today when I woke up, I felt like I was. Greasy? I don't know if that's just me or I just don't feel like refreshed. I feel like just very heavy. I think my strategy for this challenge has changed a little bit. I'm gonna try to take it a smarter way. Maybe don't eat too much. It says apple pie but it's not. It's the new one which is like the blueberry and cream cheese pie. Hmm. I'm a little bit torn. Because I put it in the fridge, right, the outside has become a little bit softer which I, I really am a little bit disappointed about because, you know, I think with the apple pies or like McDonald's pies, the crisp crust is really what I, I look for. But on the other hand, right, the cold filling, uh, actually not bad eh? I think it's nicer when it's cold, the filling at least. Well, I'm actually excited because you know why? I'm in Athens, Greece. So, obviously, we had to try the McDonald's from Greece. I'm just gonna order some things that is not available in Singapore. Alright, so lunch is here, guys. And, oh, it's called the Mac Chicken Crispy Bacon Mac Menu. So it has bacon slices in it, and there's like two layers of cheese, there's some sauce, and there's some onions in it, oh my god. Hmm, I actually like it. But I would say like our mac chicken in Singapore is more juicier. But I would say it's something really different. Okay, so next we're gonna try the French fries. Ah, mm. that's really good. They taste the same. And next up is the wedges. Hmm, these are like regular wedges. Okay, so so one of the things that I do do, and this is something that I do do quite regularly, lah, is ordering McDonald's breakfast items very close to the end of the breakfast hours so I can eat it for lunch. And one of the things that I always order this way is the McDonald's breakfast wrap. I got the sausage one and for drinks wise, to me like everybody has their own preference but for me right, I'm always an ice milo kind of guy when it comes to McDonald's breakfast. It's got like the sausage, like the breakfast sausage. We've got like, I think some cheese, we've got some eggs, we've got some hash browns. To me, it's like an entire meal in just one handy wrap, which is super convenient and it's like quick. Eh? I'm actually glad that McDonald's has this option for me so that I can have my greens. I've been missing my vegetables for a very, very long time. Eat your vegetables! This itself is definitely not sustainable. Mm, it's a salad lor. <laughs> Sliced apples. They are not really that sweet lah. This one is slightly drier, slightly sweeter, slightly less sour. Okay, I have my caramel frap from Mac Cafe. It's like my first time trying something from Mac Cafe. Oh god, it just tastes like iced syrup. 
to be quite honest. This like doesn't have any coffee taste at all, so I would not really recommend this and I wouldn't really get it again. I'm getting a bit peckish, like I'm not really hungry hungry, but I really want to just like munch on something. So we got a few things which we don't have in Singapore and I'm very excited to show you guys. So the first one is this thing called Chicken McBites. So basically it's like popcorn chicken. So this is how it looks like. It's a round chicken ball. The thing is, it doesn't taste like popcorn chicken. I feel like it's real chicken bits. Okay, now let's try it with the sauces. We're gonna go with a Cajun sauce. Hmm. I don't get what's the hype now. Okay, next up we're gonna try um mayonnaise. So the white one is actually mayonnaise. Hmm. Hmm. You can't go wrong with mayonnaise. Last sauce that I got is mustard. Hmm. Okay, so for the last food item that we don't have in Singapore, it's these. These are called camembert cheese slices. It's like a cheese slice that is coated in like bread crumbs, I think. Mmm! What? This is so good. <laughs> what the heck? It's creamy. It has a bit of a nutty flavour. It's not very salty like mozzarella cheese. And it's not sharp like cheddar. I don't know all the food I've tried, this is one thing hands down Singapore needs to bring. I got myself cup corn, a filet fish meal, yeah, and orange juice, guys. Um, so I'm gonna start with the filet fish. I guess it does feel a little healthier. It's not as like thick as like a chicken patty or a beef patty. And I actually really, really, really like the steam buns of the filet fish. There was one interesting thing where someone shared how to eat the cup corn. Put the butter on top of the corn. Okay, after you tap, you shake. This is literally the first time ever in my life I'm doing it. Let's see, let's see. Huh? It doesn't taste very different from like eating the corn without the butter. It just makes it a little bit more like buttery in the texture. A little bit greasier. Like I feel like it doesn't really add any extra value to it. Dinner is very simple salad. But this time there is chicken, corn cup, and the lunch water, dasani. This is such a nice substitute for french fries. Not kidding. It is dinner time and I have my filet of fish and I'm gonna add some chili sauce. Cheers! Mm, I love the tartar sauce on filet of fish. This is my go-to if I'm not feeling something too heavy, but this is a good, safe dinner. Last day, last breakfast of this challenge. I feel more sluggish, I feel more tired. I don't feel like I'm getting the nutrition that I need on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but yeah, for today, for breakfast, going with something that, you know, can't go wrong. And I get super excited whenever it comes back. And that is... Jang Jang Jang! McGriddles! And then of course, we got a side of cap rounds. It's that they know that I'm filming, so they make like the most perfect McGriddle stack there is it. I love it so much. It's just like super salty, super savoury, and then that hint of sweetness from like the maple syrup bun things. Uh, it's my favourite combination, sweet and savoury, uh, sweet and salty. Ah, uh, I love that. Good morning everyone. There's actually been an oversupply of McDonald's ingredients at home. So I decided to, instead of buying out because I've been spending a lot, I would customise my own McGriddles. Okay, the McGriddles buns, this ham, I put the egg also. Ham. Mmm. Very signature McDonald's. Mmm. Babus, man. It tastes very homemade. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited to dig in to my hot cakes and my hash brown. Mmm, yum! I would say this is the best meal that I've had in this 72 hour challenge. It is lunch. I've actually gotten something that I've never tried before by something that I heard mixed reviews about McCrispies! Some said that the McSpicy was better Some said that the drumstick was better So I'm here to give it a test It was quite nice It smells like a McSpicy Oh, nice spice I wouldn't say it's a McSpicy kind of spicy it's a toned down version of it, but the meat is juicy. Hello, it is time for lunch. 
something very very simple because I'm not very hungry and I don't think I can take much more McDonald's anymore. I have the mocha frappe. Mm. It's very yummy. I can taste the coffee, I can taste the chocolate. I definitely prefer it to the caramel frappe that I had yesterday. And then I have a cup of corn. I haven't done McDonald's cup corn in like ages. I think since I was a child. It still tastes the same, I guess. Honestly, I wonder if it's real corn. Alright, so I'm finally back home. Surprisingly, right, I haven't been hungry the whole day. I was hungry just now, but suddenly I just kind of lost my appetite. So, I actually got a Happy Meal. Mm -mm -mm. I really like the ones that I had in Athens because I think they were like really nice and salty. So I've got my McNuggets here, just four pieces. I think it's more than enough for me. Mm. It's good. Yeah, I think I can always eat nuggets. Like, I will always have space for nuggets. I didn't have lunch because I wasn't very hungry after eating like a heavy breakfast. But now it's dinner time and I'm finally gonna do a viewer suggestion. And this viewer suggestion is from Chloe. She suggested that I have a plain McSpicy, add cheese, pork curry sauce inside the burger, and add a layer of fries on top. I'm not sure how I feel, I feel about that. The curry sauce got like weird taste. I feel like there's too many flavours happening in my mouth. I don't know if they match. Because the flavours, they don't actually like combine. It's edible lah, not gaggable. It's finally the last meal of the challenge. So, because I'm so happy right, I bought myself the Happy Meal. There's small fries, chicken nuggets. Of course, I have to pair it with my curry sauce. This is the star. It's such a good way to end this challenge. I have half a Big Mac patty and honestly, I'm so grateful that I saved this because I could not eat another burger, like a full burger. Like I physically cannot do it. I'm gonna put the McDonald's chili sauce as if this makes anything better. Mm. <laughs> it's like my jaw doesn't even want to chew. I'm just glad that this is the last one. <laughs> I thought it was going to be much easier. I think it's easier in the fact that you don't really have to think about what you eat. You literally just go to McDonald's and just chew whatever, right? Actually, I'm the opposite, you know? Huh. Because I was, I kept thinking like, oh, what should I eat for my next meal so that I won't feel so sick? Yeah, actually, that's what ah, I thought. Like, oh, really? I feel so yeah. bad, like, what should I eat next? Like, I can't eat another meal. I was, like, planning for, like, the entire day, but mm. most of the times I had to skip my meals because, like, I was mostly sleeping. <laughs> but, um, whenever I was awake, I made sure that I didn't eat the same thing as the day before mm. because I just thought, like, I'll definitely get very sian of it. You know when it really hit me was when my family was eating beef stew, home-cooked beef Beef stew, mm. and then I was eating like a very pathetic Big Mac patty. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is what my life has come to. <laughs> the thing I missed most was actually the rice. Because mm. I'm a very carby person. Mm. And I couldn't survive without rice. Oh wow. So I actually cheated on one of the days. <gasps> oh wow! Okay, I have given up. I think I'm just succumbing to what I want, which is rice. So I decided to have rice and some food kaket. Mm. Hey, she at me, you know. I mean, Very technically, honest. I failed the challenge, lah. Like I openly announced that I failed the challenge. How? Oh. So while waiting for my food to arrive, I just want to put a very quick disclaimer. I'm very well aware that I probably failed this challenge. But the problem is, this challenge just happened to occur during the time where I'm flying. And I just happened to be flying to Greece. So the flight time is 12 hours, right? It means practically my whole day is gone. So um, day one of my challenge was actually right before I flew off. But once I woke up, I did continue my challenge. So this is technically day two. So technically, Technically, I am not following the challenge unfortunately and I'm really sorry guys but I'm still gonna go through with it because you see my logic was as long as I was 40,000 feet above ground I cannot eat McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> so you're eating the cabin food oh my god so I'm so sorry like I will take this you know because I completely failed oh, no. definitely no. yes like just now before coming to the office right someone bought like McDonald's breakfast and I was like oh, McDonald's and then the person was like yeah it's McGriddles and I just went 
<laughs> She's learned nothing from this. <laughs> uh, I think I will have to take a a, a detox from <laughs> any them. sort That's of right. fast food for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah lah. I will say so. I feel like not only is it super like nice lah, but it's also very convenient. I yeah. feel like McDonald's is literally everywhere, right? That, that's right. Yeah, I think that's the easiest part about McDonald's as, as compared to any other like fast, fast food joint. Yeah. I mean, Megan, really, you really See, went all up. of 72 hours challenge if you enjoyed this video you can watch our other videos over there and don't forget to like share and subscribe bye, bye.